Five decks in five minutes to help get you started in the new Hearthstone meta. Right off the bat, we're taking a look at Disruption Warrior. General game plan for the deck is we're going to want to disrupt our opponent's game plan with things like Disruptive Spellbreaker, recently buffed card, discarding our opponent's spells, as well as Call to the Stand, just being able to get pesky minions out of our opponent's hand and being able to remove them from the board. Our way to win the game is going to be down here towards the bottom of our deck. We're actually hard running Mr. Smite. We're also running the buffed version of Nelly. This is going to be able to give us some cheap pirates in combination with a hard run smite or a discovered smite to be able to get a lot of damage from hand. Also, the buffed Remornia could be a lot of face damage with multiple weapon swings. Also, we're keeping Astalor in the deck. This card has been nerfed, but not hit so hard that it's probably not going to be playable anymore. The mulligan for this deck, we're going to want to keep Bash. Likely, we're going to want to keep Shield Shatter. We're going to keep From the Depths as well as Outrider Axe. If you do have a From the Depths in hand, you may also want to keep Sir Finley just to be able to get those cheap cards on the bottom of the deck back into your hand. Up next, we're going to take a look at Undead Priest. We're going to try to leverage the buff on the Haunting Nightmare with this now being a 4-3. General game plan for the deck is we're going to want to be playing our three cost minions in the form of Brittle Skin Zombie, Haunting Nightmare, and Shadowed Spirit. We have multiple ways to be able to give these minions either Reborn or just bring them back to the life with Undying Allies and Animate Dead, as well as the Bone Caller. We're going to be wanting to put those minions on the board, be able to make the board a little bit wider, and deal damage to our opponent's face. You can see here, top end of the deck, we are running Zarella to be able to repeat all of those death rattles, and again, just helping us be able to close out the game. In the Mulligan, we're going to want to keep our three drops, Brittle Skin Zombie, Cathedral of Atonement, Haunting Nightmare, as well as Shadowed Spirit. Outcast Demon Hunter, a deck that hasn't seen any real experimentation just yet, but we're going to take a look at it now that Vengeful Walloper is one mana cheaper. General game plan for the deck is we're going to want to develop our side of the board and keep our opponent's side of the board clear. You can see we're running Dread Prison Glaives, along with a couple of cards that are going to buff our attack power, and Multi Strike to let us hit twice to be able to get damage to our opponent's face. The Outcast package here is really just a way to be able to generate additional resources, Potentially also we'll be able to play the Corvos with uh, Outcast cards to be able to return it to our hand to repeatedly be able to punch face for two damage. Also running Kurtris here to help us close out the game. One of the power plays for the deck you're going to want to keep in mind is Crimson Sigil Runner on one into Fierce Outsider Hero Power on two. And that's actually going to have us a three mana Vengeful Walloper on three. The 5-5 five, five rush coming down should be really, really strong. General Mulligan for this deck, we would want to keep the weapon. We would keep uh, Crimson Sigil Runner, and then we would also keep Fossil Fanatic as well as Battleworn Vanguard. Next, we're taking a look at Death Rattle Shaman. This deck looking to capitalize more so on the nerfs than the buffs. You're going to see no buffed cards in this, but the decks that have been nerfed, specifically Rogue and DH. General game plan is we want to hit the board early and often. We want to be able to get a board as wide as possible. Then Shadow Suffusion to be able to give those minions extra damage as a Death Rattle or Bloodlust are going to be our finishers. In the mulligan, a one-drop is pretty important here. We want to keep Iron Deep Trog. We would also keep the Scourge Troll. Death Weaver Aura is also going to be a keep only, only if you have a Scourge Troll already in hand. Otherwise, do not keep this card. We're also going to want to keep the Veer Cool Necrolite. We would keep Clownfish. Hawkstrider Rancher, definitely a keep. You're always going to want to get this down on turn three, on turn two, if you have the coin. And I'm going to say that you can also probably just keep Rotgill in your opening hand as well. Again, we're looking to go wide, and then we want to land a Shadow Suffusion on a wide board, or potentially a Bloodlust, just to be able to finish off the game. That's the way you're going to win with this deck. Last but not least, we have Unholy Death Knight. This is a deck that saw some play prior to this balance patch, but should be just a little bit stronger now. Really looking to take advantage of Rogue and Demon Hunter being taken out of the meta with the nerfs to those respective classes, as well as the Battlefield Necromancer receiving a buff. This is now going to be summoning 1-3 minions. If we can actually get this to stick, it's going to help us to be able to land a wide board. General game plan for the deck is we want to be able to develop minions in the early game, and then we have Grave Strength to be able to... Uh, work is like a bloodlust effect to be able to go face and finish off our opponent. The mulligan for this deck, it's going to be really important to have a play on turn one. So we would be keeping Arms Dealer, Banshee. We would also keep the Iron Deep Trog. If you have a one drop in hand, you could also consider keeping one of the two drops in the form of Battlefield Necromancer, Bone Digger Geist, and Necrotic Mortician. That's five decks in five minutes to help you be able to get started in the new meta. The meta is going to be evolving quickly. If you want to look for updates for these decks as well as other playable decks, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video. I'm Uncorrupt. Thank you for watching.